good morning what's up squad it's your girl unscripted to the t um it is wednesday for me so it is hump day uh it is also saint patrick's day i did not even think about it subconsciously i put on green and then I turned on the news and they were like, it's St. Patty Day. So I got on green. Your girl got on green. Let me see if I can show y'all everything. I'm waiting for the car to heat up. I got these mixed color pants with, they're so comfortable with green and look like purple and white in the pants. Um... So, I meant to come out here and heat up my car. It is chilly this morning. I brought my coat. Let me tell y'all, I've had this Gucci coat for so long. Like, seriously, I've had this coat for so so many years. Um, and I forgot I had it. That's how many clothes I have in my closet, which is absolutely ridiculous. And my coat closet that sometimes I don't wear my stuff because I forget I have it. So I was going through my coat closet looking for a jacket uh, last week and I saw my coat and I was like, oh my God, I forgot I have this coat. So I thought I'd wear it. I can still fit it. Um, I was surprised about that. I was just like, oh my God, you can get over these hips of mine. Uh, cause your girl didn't have these hips. However, I must say this because you know I got to keep it 100. I have not tried to button it, <laughs> so it is hanging. <laughs> so I really don't know if it can get over these hips. I actually seriously doubt that it can because I have not buttoned it. But <laughs> you know, when you be trying to. Uh, just run and put something on just to go to the car from the car from your house to the car from your car to the office you don't really need to be closed <laughs> buttoned up and you still pulling off that cuteness now if i was actually trying to go somewhere and i knew i was going to be out and you know running and ripping and running and whatever no i probably wouldn't try this coat <laughs> or i would have made sure i can button it up before i left out but it's more of like a trench coat like a raincoat so i usually wear it around springtime because it just has the um it doesn't have like uh, a lot uh heavy and you know fur lining or anything like that does people wear trench coats anymore i got like four or five bad boys uh, trench coats I don't know if y'all wear them but I still wear mine especially like when it's raining sometimes I'll have it on you know even though I hate the rain I think I had another channel and actually y'all could probably go over to that channel I was on YouTube before under bougie girl behavior and I think my very first video, matter of fact, I'm sure my very first video was like, uh, the title is, I Can't Stand the Rain. Yeah. And it's under bougie girl behavior. And so, yeah, go on over there. Go on over there and check it out. Well, anyway, I tell about how I despise rainy days, cold, wet weather i know for some of y'all who are watching it's peaceful for you and serene and you're like it cleans the air and it helps the grass grow and the plants and the flowers love it yeah 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 we get that but i'm talking about me as my person my body walking out going out in the rain for me, somebody who, okay, picture this. If you have like severe arthritis, trust me, damp weather, cold, wet weather is not your friend. It's like you have to feel like you have to 
squirt some WD-40 on you just to get moving. That's how I feel when it's raining. I feel like my body is in lock mode and not in a good way. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I feel so stiff. So I think that's why I don't like it because truth be told, when I was younger, that type of weather never bothered me. I don't think I ever used to say like, oh, I don't like the rain. I don't like to go places or whatever. I don't recall feeling that way. I think most of the time when it was rainy, I would think it was cozy, just like some of y'all. And I'd be like, I'm going to read me a good book. I'm going to snuggle up. I'm going to see a good movie. Yeah. I never let it stop me. <laughs> you know how my, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it on this channel. I may have. But my father-in-law, Gordon, God rest his soul, he would always say this phrase, don't know one mon monkey stopped my show. Well, that's how I used to feel about the rain back then. Really, any weather. When I say this cup of coffee is right this morning, it is right. Um, but coming from New York, you know, I think we just are used, we're used to the weather. We're used to the coldness. So it never bothered me then. But I've been in North Carolina, it's what, 29 years? Going on 30 this summer. So for me, it's more like... I've been out of it so long consistently you know before the whole COVID thing I would go visit frequently but I haven't been there in I would say probably two years I have not been to New York which makes me so sad that I can't just up and go because I would like to go see my grandmother and my uncle and um, his family up in there and see some of my friends, you know, go check out my girlfriend, Carla, who, you know what, Carla, if you're watching this, I gotta call you. Call me, girl. We have not chatted since probably, I want to say, November? That's a long time. We, we had never really went that long, but everybody just been so busy and caught up with everything that's going on. I know I have been so busy. So I got to call her. And I was sick for her birthday. And normally I would send her a text or something or call her. And I was sick. It's her birthday is in February. And at, speaking of birthdays, today is my one of my sister-in-law's birthday. Um, happy birthday, Paula. Uh, and my other sister-in-law, her birthday was last weekend. And my father's birthday is this weekend. And then my brother's birthday is 10 days after his birthday. So we got a lot of birthdays this month. Um, in the month of March. Also my husband's oldest brother. Eddie's birthday is Saturday too. So I probably will vlog me going to go see my father. I was thinking what could I get him or what can I do for him. And my father really don't cook. cook. He don't cook no like real food so i'm thinking that i probably will make him something nice to eat and bring it to him um yeah so that's probably what i'll do so i'm telling you this coffee is so good i was with my mom yesterday and i am struggling this morning y'all <laughs> and going to see my mom I had to go to the store so I'll show y'all some things that we ended up picking up from the store um mainly I was like focusing on I needed to get me some potting soil for my plants so I finally got that because a lot of my plants uh 
are growing so they I need more dirt and then I need to repot so I bought a couple of pots I think I may have bought maybe about four pots so I'm gonna repot my plants um, and take the ones that are overgrown and put them into bigger pots then that will free up pots for some new plants um, which we got our stuff from Home Depot. Home Depot plants are high. Like, I told my mom that when the weather gets nice, we probably should just ride over to, um, what do you call it? The, um, not the flea market. The, um, you know, the fresh market. The fresh market sells plants. Not the fresh market, the farmer's market. Um, sell plants and they have a good selection and they're not as high as those plants were at Home Depot. Home Depot bumped their head with the prices that they have on their plants. Yeah, I said it. I saw plants there, medium sized plants, $39, $49.98, $79. I was just like, what the? $16.99 we seen for a snake plant, but that was in Walmart. But it wasn't even a big, big, huge, full snake plant. I'm like, oh, you done bumped your head. Um, because my mom's looking for a snake plant. If y'all watch my videos, y'all know I got a really big snake plant that I may have paid, I think, $7.99 for it. And that sucker is big now. Um, and uh, uh, I had to go get my dog some dog food. And uh, y'all probably like, we don't even care about all that. But, you know, I'm telling y'all anyway. <laughs> and um, I got me some decent coffee cream. Because I did not have any decent coffee cream. I tried to use half and half. Mm-mm. I can't do it. It does not give the coffee the kick that I am looking for. So, I don't know what I'm going to use that half and half for. If y'all know any other uses for half and half besides coffee, let me know because I just bought some and I used it twice and mm, it don't do anything. It, to me, it tastes like I didn't have nothing in my coffee. Um, but this right here, this French vanilla, um, I can do international or I can do, uh, coffee mate. And as long as it's French vanilla, your girl is happy. I don't like, or I've tried them. I don't like all them sweet, sweet ones. Um, and what I like about a good cream crema is that if I have a good crema with me being heavy on sugar y'all seen it y'all seen it in the videos I like that if my cream is sweet enough I don't have to put no sugar in it so all I just use is that as my sweetener and that's it and keep it moving I don't have to put cream and sugar and I like that because I can get in where I fit in far as decreasing my sugar intake because I was thinking to myself I can do all I need to do far as changing what I eat giving myself a cutoff time again which I've start that back up again because I'm telling you the I went way lax on that giving myself a cutoff time of snacking um all night because I was catching myself like okay you still like crunching and munching on stuff and it's getting late so i have to pull the reins in on that but i think what had, what had happened was that when i was sick y'all remember if y'all have not seen my video go to my video that i posted uh I think about a week ago that said uh i think the title is um i thought i was going to die from covid which no lie that wasn't clickbait that was real talk i mean i had to make sure that before i post that video that i waited 
two weeks even after I was better to post the video because if I would have posted the video when I was really really emotional about healing from that joker that video would have been raw it would have been all the way live I probably should have clicked it because y'all like uh, seem to me like YouTube view is like drama crying and all that stuff that's what seemed like make y'all like click like on a but on a video or that's what makes it seem like y'all uh want to go ahead and subscribe and um but i just really did i just was so um genuinely emotional i just did not really want to share that because but one to me it was so low on my priority list because i was just so thankful for being here um but i said all that to say that why why did i say all that <laughs> i'm still in my coffee wasn't i oh but i said all that to say because mm, i don't even remember <laughs> I just went all on a tangent on that subject. Oh, coffee don't spill. My husband will kill me if I spill anything in his car. He be serious about his car. If I'm eating in his car, like sometimes I'll eat on my lunch break. And because if I'm not, seem like to me because I'm always needed with my job because I'm the HR manager sometimes I have to actually say okay I'm on break I'm on a lunch break you could see me eating and I still sometimes will get called for uh, somebody is uh, holding for you or somebody's here to see you or this that and the other and I and or somebody will come and start talking to me so I feel like I have not actually had my hours break so sometimes I actually like to get out of the office even though we have a break room <laughs> we're like so tied up in the office that I think people forget that you're you're actually on your break and then I think because of the fact that I very rarely do take my full break Unless I'm saying, oh, well, I want to make a run on my break or I'm going to go here on my lunch break. Then I'll actually take my full hour, which never is en enough when I'm going to go to the stores. Because I kind of feel like I be trying to act like I'm off work and I have to remember, don't lose track of time. You still got to give yourself traveling time to get back to the office. <laughs> but um, I sit in, my car, sit in his car and I'll munch and he vacuum out the car and Gordy would be like, you was eating in my car, right? <laughs> I'm like, dang. So, yeah. I am going to cut back on how late I eat, cut back on this sugar, and start back with my exercising. But anyway, I am at the J-O-B, and it is, what time is it? You know, I forgot my clock, my watch. Um, I got training today, and I will talk to you guys a little later on today. All right, I'll be back.